Well, it's still daylight-ish. I got to go away very, very early. Behind me, you can see that little sign there. I can't point because of mirror effect. Unleash your potential. Two teams better tonight. At Belfast Star, they won the championship right before the pandemic. The University of Galway, Mari, they are going for their first ever championship, their first shot at getting to a championship game. The winner goes to Dublin to play the title game. And yeah, like Mari, they won the cup earlier this year. They've looked very, very good. They won this conference. That's why they have home court tonight in the semi-final. And we're going to see what on earth happens. But also, I might, I might go for a bite to eat or something, you know? Let's see what happens. It's Galway, baby. Number 13, Sean Briggs. Number 14, Pierre Carter. Especially on your way to work. Uh, big game tonight. The weather is hanging off, which is uh, west of Ireland, no guarantee. So, fingers crossed, uh, we're in for a good one. Yeah. Hope the action is pretty good. Well, Chris from the Wire said, always be early. Several hours before tip off here. Might get a bite to eat first as well. you really be mindful of what you're having in your vicinity so, you know, you look good on camera. I'm not. Instead, I'm having a Sloppy Joe burger with a chili jack and Because I like to live dangerously. Because living dangerously is rewarding. So half time here, it's 50 to 40 for Mari. And here's the really scary thing though for you all to understand. I was talking to Adrian Fulton, the Belfast star coach before this game. When he won the league with Colester, the league stopped, foot and mouth happened. When he won a championship as coach with Belfast star in 2020, 2020 kind of happened. If Adrian Fulton gets to a title game next week, society may actually come to a standstill. We're none by a sight, but that still terrifies us. Anyway, back to the action.
mid first. And Sean Briggs is the one of the coolest ever seen, Belfast Star guy. They're down six. He's running with the ball in hand, still is on half court. Goes, screw it. Flips the headband off so someone else can get it. And then goes up. Business picked up. It's a tie game, 55 all right now. We're only mid third. Let's see what else happens. I was trying to get through the sea. I was just saying, go hard. I was like, hurt these guys. I was like, look at you. And that man was either lead off with me, lead off with something. But he was a brute. He was the difference maker in the fourth. Oh. He came out and just, Rodrigo went down. He was playing on a busted ankle. Like, it's just stuff of dreams. You see the credit? It's just ridiculous. Uh, and one last word. How are you feeling about going to Dublin next week? Uh, looking forward to it. We bloody enjoyed tonight. As you say, with the... A lot of guys to get no money, you gotta enjoy every bit of what you get out of basketball. And but like, this is unreal. I honestly, this crowd, I don't know if you can picture it, but that noise was deafening. Oh, I can hear every second. It's, it's, um, it's unbelievable. And uh, yeah, we're obviously looking forward to it. As I say, we have the advantage. Buy your tickets now. They're not playing until tomorrow. Let's buy them on. Let's flood the place. Let's make the race blue. Let's go. Charlie, I'll see you in Tallinn, man.
This is what I love about this job. I'm going to try and interview Jared Haynes, but I know there's no point trying to leave given every single one of those kids an autograph. Oh, it's great. Please record. Yeah. Jared, man. I've seen the cues for players after a game, but I think you heard it tonight. How did you feel after that one? Uh, man, it was great. Like, the support was wonderful. That was a great game, man. That's the game I live for, you know. And like that fourth quarter, you just seemed to come out angry, like, you know, were you sort of fired up for it? Uh, no, I just, uh, I know that Belfast is a great team and, and they wasn't going to go away, so we had to play all the way to zero. Uh, like the crowd tonight, like the noise, it was unreal. How are you feeling going to Dublin knowing they're coming with you? Uh, it's great. It's great to get to the championship game, but we're not done. We have one more game to win, so. So that's Maori through to the final. They've already won the cup. They're looking to do the double in Ireland this year. They certainly made hard work of it, but like Jared Haynes, what a performance there. Extraordinary stuff. And we'll see them in Tala next Saturday.